This is Olivier Liboubon, Globalization Lead at Lingoport. The topic of this short presentation will cover how to externalize strings out of the code and into resource bundles and pseudo localize the resulting files. I have created a project in configure scan in Globalizer, ran the scans and identified embedded strings in the source code. I am about to externalize strings and pseudo localize the resulting resources. Resources are typically sent to the localization groups for translation. Pseudo localization allows the software engineer to verify which strings have been externalized and which strings are still embedded. Both, by the way, are necessary, as not all strings must be externalized. Let's have a look at the Globalizer workbench. I have an application, Globalizer Demo Java. And let's have a look at the scan results here. You notice that a number of strings are in the code. In the instance of that particular string, the add string on the J button, it says add. And right now, the way it is being coded in the source code, there is no way it can be shown as anything else but add. So for a French locale or something else, it will always say add. Let's run the code. You notice the add button at the bottom of the example address book dialog. And that is the one that is being shown by this J button here. So how do I externalize this? Let me first show you the scan configuration here. In terms of manage scan, I have only one scan. Let's click on modify. Next, next. And here is the panel that configures how to externalize strings. In that instance, I have chosen a properties file. I have one property file for the whole project. The, it's calling the ITNN util class in the retrieval package com lingo port demo java utils. And it is going to move the files, the strings that I have into this particular file, example resources.properties under the resource directory. So let's close this and let's externalize this string right here. It tells me exactly what string is going to be externalized, what file is going to be modified, example panel Java, and where the embedded string will be externalized. Let's click finish. I am going to verify that by just checking the example resources.properties right here. I click here and I notice there is an exam add to identifier that has been created and it contains the text for add. This is what the text file looks for. This is the properties file with the key and the English text. So far, there is nothing in French and nothing has been pseudo localized. In the example main, you'll notice the same uh, example panel. You'll, you will notice the same exact key here with the externalization method. Let's run the code again. There will be no change at that point. Add is still this add button, but now it comes from the externalized resources. Let's just pseudo localize this particular file, example resources.properties. I'm clicking Globalizer, Resources, Pseudo Localization. I'm giving it some kind of characters, preferably non-ASCII. I'm putting it both in the front and the back of the string. And here I can say by how much I want to increase the string. Finally, it's going after the example resources.properties. And the locale to be chosen here is, I'm going to say, Icelandic, for example. And I'm adding the variant pseudo. Let's click localize. At that point, I close this dialog and I notice that this file example resources isi pseudo.properties has been created. Let's open the file again. This time, I'm going to open it with just the property file editor. You notice that the key is the same. There is some Unicode character in front of add and some Unicode character after the add. 
Here's another way to look at that properties file. It's using the property file editor. So just by saying open, this time I notice that I have not only the default value, the French value, which is not entered, but also an Icelandic with some character that has been added at the front and the back of the, the original string. Let's run the code, but this time with the pseudo locale. Let's configure it. This is specific to my application. In yours, it might be a drop-down menu or another item that will help you change the locale to a pseudo locale. Let's run the code with that pseudo locale. And now everything is the same except that this button now has the letter E in front and in the back. I've pseudo localized the resources, but I noticed that a lot of the strings here still are hard coded. So the rest of the demo is just going to be finishing the work that I've started, but it's going to be the same mechanism. I am going to verify that all the strings that are identified by Globalizer are indeed the strings that need to be externalized, and they are. Once I'm convinced of that, I am going to select all those strings, externalize the selected scan results. It will tell me exactly what string in what file are going to be externalized, which files are going to be modified, and by clicking Finish, the strings that were in the source code will now be moved out of the source code into the example resources.properties. Keys are being generated, calls are being added to the IAT9 utils property management class there, which is just a class that you would have in your own environment. It's not, a, it's not specific to uh, Globalizer. So let's open this file again. And you notice that the number of strings is very different here. But I only have one string which is pseudo localized. So let's pseudo localize all the strings. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as before. Right click on the resource bundle. Choose globalizer resources pseudo localization. And all my settings are kept from before. I just click localize tells me that it's going to overwrite the previous file that was resulting from the localization process. And now when I run the application again, you notice that all the strings have been pseudo localized. You notice also that things that are date-time formats, for example, still need to be taken care of. But right now we're focusing on pseudo localization. If I click Next, by the way, the string that is being printed on the console does not have pseudo localization items in front and back. So I'm verifying that strings that are shown to, in that instance, developers have not been externalized and should not be translated. This concludes uh, this short demo for externalizing strings and pseudo localization.